In this problem, we want to determine the perimeter and area of the composite shape shown below. I say composite because recall that composite shapes are comprised of smaller geometric shapes put together. And if we notice, this shape that we have isn't one of our common shapes, but it is, if we look closer, a square, right, that's four feet by four feet, attached to a right triangle. And so we are looking for both the perimeter and the area of this composite shape, the square with the right triangle put together. Let's start with the easy one, which is perimeter. Recall that to calculate the perimeter of any figure, we want to find the distance around the edges or the distance around the outside. So I'm just going to note that. So this is the distance along the edges. And generally speaking, we can get the perimeter by simply adding up those measurements. So if I want to get the perimeter for this shape right here, I have that the perimeter is, and I'll start here on this left side over here, I'm going to travel this far, and this distance here is 4 feet, so the perimeter is 4 plus, and now we're going to add to it another 4, and then we're going to add to it that diagonal 12.6, and then finally, we're going to add the distance across the bottom. And the distance across the bottom is shown to be 16 total feet right here. And so I'm just going to write down 16. So now I want to add these up. So that tells me I have 4 plus 4, which is 8. And 8 plus 12 is 20.6. And then I need to add that to 16. So you can either pull your calculator out or you can continue adding in your head. And that's going to give you 36.6. And how do we measure perimeter? We measure them in straight up units. So that's going to be 36.6 feet. That represents the distance around the outside or the edge of this figure here. 36.6 feet. Awesome. Now we get to move on and look at the area. So the area of this composite figure takes a little bit more work. We first notice that the composite figure, again, is compi comprised of two smaller shapes. And so rather than getting the area for the whole thing at once, I want to get the area of the two smaller shapes and add those together. I see that this figure is comprised of a square. So I'm just going to draw my square over there. And what do I note about that square? That square is four feet on each side. And I also have a triangle, specifically a right triangle. So I'm going to have to add the area of this right triangle. Let's start with finding the area for the square, and then let's find the area for the right triangle. All right, starting with the square. So square has an area. And what is the area formula for any square? Well, it's length times width, or if we like, the side times the side, right, when you're talking about a square. So the area for our figure is just the length of one side times the length of the other. And we just calculated or mentioned that each side is 4 feet long. So that means the area of that square is 4 times 4 or if we like, 16 square feet. So the square here is 16 square feet. That's how much area is taking, taken up by this square. Let's then talk about our right triangle. Now, for the right triangle, I didn't quite write the dimensions in. That's because we need a little bit of work to get them. Let's start by first recalling what is the formula for the area of any right triangle. Well, if we label the distance across the bottom the base, and we label this distance here the height, do you remember that the area for any right triangle is 1 half times the length of the base times the height? So looking specifically at our picture, what is the base and the height 
for this right triangle. Let's start with the base. Notice 16 feet, although at first we might think that's the base, 16 feet actually goes the whole distance across the bottom. But we don't want that whole distance. We want just a portion of it. We want the portion that pertains to the right triangle. So thinking in our heads, how can we get the distance there? Well, I'm going to put one more measurement in and see if that helps us. We do know that this red length right here is four feet, and that's because this is a square. So if this red length right here is four feet, and I know my total distance is 16 feet, well, that must tell me then that this length here across the bottom has to be just 12 feet, right? Because the 12 plus the four gives us that total 16. So that means that the base of my triangle is actually just 12 feet. How about that height? Well, if I look at my triangle, what do I see? The height is this distance here, but again, again, that shape to the left is a square. And so that means that this height matches the height opposite or parallel to it. So that height just is equal to four feet, the side of the square. So that tells me in this right triangle, I have a right triangle with a height of four feet. Now I have the dimensions and now I can actually finish this problem. So I know the area of a right triangle is one half times the base times the height. So I'm going to take 1 half times, and what did we say the base was? The base is 12, and what did we say the height it was? The height is 4. So I have 1 half times 12 times 4, or if we like, 1 half or half of 12 times 4, which is 48. And do you know what half of 48 is? So you can either in your calculator take 1 half times 48, 0 0.5 times 48, or 48 divided by 2, right? In any instance, half of 48 that you come up with should be 24. Half of 48 is 24, specifically 24 square feet. And so let me mark that in there. So that tells me that the area of the right triangle part where the space inside the right triangle part is 24 square feet. We are almost done, so close to the finish line. To get the total area of this composite shape, we simply want to add together the area of the square, which is 16 feet, and the area of the right triangle, which is 24 feet. So scratch work, if I add 16 plus 24, What's that give us? That gives us a total of 40 square feet. 16 plus 24 is 40 square feet. And that completes my problem. This composite shape has a perimeter of 36.6 feet and an area of 40 square feet. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out.